Okay, everybody, now we have some issues in the market. Remember last week when we had inflation data come out and it actually spiked? Well, now we are seeing the consequences of that spike. The stock market's just coming down a little bit. I wouldn't even be freaked out about that from a technical perspective. But what happened today was finally the dollar managed to break out after consolidating for about two to three weeks. And that's the big move. You're seeing the euro, a lot of currencies go down against the dollar. The dollar is pushing it right now. And it's all because everybody has been pricing in the rate cuts happening in March. And at this point, I can pretty much guarantee, unless the United States economy starts to fully collapse, which it doesn't look like it's going to because we're kind of still, you know, hustling and bustling and adding more to the credit card debt, we're, gonna, we're not going to see those cuts happen. And if we don't see those cuts happen, you're going to see the market come back down slowly. I do not think this is some type of major downward move event to the market. We should have a move that lasts a few months, maybe at most, and we're kind of grinding down. But at any time, if the CPI numbers drop down below 3% or they just start stabilizing maybe back around 3.2, 3.1, the market will have everything it needs in order to, order to start pumping up again. And if you have that mindset right now, well, then you're going to be buying the dip, buying the dip, buying the dip. For me right now, I am not buying any stocks at this level. Everything is way too expensive. I'm going to be waiting for this pullback, and I'm actually going to be hoping that inflation stays relatively high just so the market comes back down and takes a breather because the market's hitting all-time highs where if you go out and just you know talk to regular folks, the economy is not in a good spot. So one of these things is going to break. Either the people are going to start feeling the economy is really good, which I doubt because inflation is still high, rents inflation is over 6%. Or the market's going to realize that people are just running out of money and they're going to have to have this natural slowdown, which maybe will lead us into a recession, but more likely just an economic slowdown because the government continues to add more stimulus. Even today, they're talking about doing more tax cuts for small businesses and giving out more tax credits for children, which means more money sloshing the economy, inflation staying higher for longer, and don't get me started about what's going on in the Middle East, but that's for a whole other day.